we have two different types of sensors. First is temperature sensor or pressure sensor. These type of sensors comes under the category of active sensors or intrinsic sensors in which the optical fiber itself is used as a sensing material. So this temperature sensor works under the principle of interference, works under the principle of inter interference. Here a laser source is laser source is used which passes through an beam splitter which is kept under 45 at an angle of 45 degrees. So this temperature sensor is an intrinsic sensor where an optical fiber itself is used to sense. So this temperature sensor works under the principle of interference. So an interference pattern is produced between the light emerging from the reference beam and the light emerging out from the measurable optical fiber. Due to variation in path difference that occurs in interference pattern. With the help of the interference pattern we can accurately measure, accurately measure the change in temperature and pressure. So let us see how this temperature sensor works. So this temperature sensor consists of a laser source. The laser, the output of the laser source is made to fall on a beam splitter. So this beam splitter is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees. So at the beam splitter, the single optical source is divided into two optical source. And in this system, we have two optical fibers. One is the reference optical fiber and the other one is the measurable optical fiber. So this reference optical fiber is isolated or it's kept is isolated from the uh, measuring environment or it is kept away from the measuring environment. So now when the beam after passing through the beam splitter a part of the beam is beam is transmitted through the lens L1 and it is transmitted to the reference fiber and reaches the lens L2 and similarly a part of the beam is passed through the lens L3 through the measurable optical fiber and reaches the lens L2. So the light reaches from the reference fiber and the measurable fiber will have a path difference due to various parameters, various change in the parameters such as temperature and pressure. Due to this there occurs an interference pattern. With the help of the interference pattern, we can accurately measure the change in temperature and pressure. This is how a temperature sensor is used to find the or is used to sense the variation in temperature and pressure. Displacement sensor. Displacement sensor is an extrinsic sensor. It consists of a bundle of transmitting optical fiber and a bundle of receiving optical fiber and laser is used as a source. So when this laser light is passed through the transmitting optical fiber, it passes through the transmitting optical fiber and strikes the moving target. So after striking the moving target, the light is reflected and it is received and it is received by the receiving optical fiber and fed through a detector for deduction. If the by, with the help of the change in intensity, we can find the displacement of the moving target. If the intensity of the receiving light is less, then the moving target is moving away from the optical fiber. If the intensity is high, then the target is moving towards the optical fiber. This is how the displacement is determined by using optical sensors.